everyone, Jeff the Zoo Guy here, and today I am with the darlings of Africa, meerkats. Everybody loves meerkats, they're kind of the new thing right now, they're kind of the new penguins, so to say. Meerkat Manor has actually been a good show that's helped these guys out, and of course Timon on Lion King didn't uh, really hurt these guys either, but meerkats really are cool animals, I'm not just saying that, not getting on the bandwagon here, I love these guys. Listen, meerkats are very social animals, they like to take care of each other, and they live in giant groups of 15 to 30 individuals called mobs of meerkats and what's really cool is that they do so much to take care of each other what I mean by that is you may notice every now and then when I'm talking there's one meerkat that's sitting up on his hind legs looking up in the sky that is called the sentinel meerkat and what that means is that means that one meerkat at that particular time is in charge of the safety of all these other animals all these other meerkats so they look up in the sky for hawks they look on the ground for snakes and the neat thing to remember is they have their own language it's called verbal arbitration. That's a big fancy scientific word that means they have their own language just like we do. So they have a different sound for hawks, they have a different sound for snakes, and they all understand what those sounds mean. It was once thought that only you humans had a language like that, but we know now, of course, that that's not true. A lot of animals have that verbal arbitration. But what is neat about meerkats is that they are a female-dominated society. Sorry to tell you that, boys, but what that means is, is that this society here is run by one dominant female. She's the big mama, so to say, and she usually has a mate, and that mate is the dominant male. However, she does oversee that big giant male. She is literally the big mama. She is the only one in the meerkat mob that literally is allowed to actually give birth to babies. Now, if one of these other females were to happen to go out and have a little Romeo and Juliet story with another mob of meerkats, well, if that female gets pregnant, Big Mama has the right to kill her babies. It sounds awful, but I tell you what, nature isn't pretty all the time. Sometimes Mama will allow those babies to survive and live in that mob, but like I said, sometimes they are killed off. Now, the other thing that I love about these meerkats is the fact that they are insectivores. That means they love to eat bugs. And so I'm feeding these guys these gross worms right here because these guys love to eat worms and in the natural habitat the Kalahari Desert of Africa these guys are immune to the venom of a lot of bugs like scorpions they literally can eat a scorpion not be affected by the venom now obviously they don't want to be stung so they'll bite the, the stinger off first then consume the scorpion however if they were to get stung they are immune to the venom kind of a neat thing that these guys have that a lot of other animals out there don't have so they're one of the few predators that those scorpions do have out in the Kalahari there. Hey guys, I want to thank Tampa's Lowry Park Zoo for giving me access to these incredible, awesome meerkats here. I'm Jeff the Zoo Guy. I hope to see you soon.